In my last video, I made a Def Leppard LED light. I used the X-Carve to create the Perspex logo design. In this video, I want to discuss a couple of different methods that could have been used instead of the CNC. First of all, I had a great comment from Shane. He has made very similar signs before. His method is to mask off the area you don't want to be etched, and then use an airbrush sandblaster to etch the exposed acrylic. In this example, he actually used a vinyl sticker to mask off the area, which I think is a brilliant idea. You can also use a plunger router to get a similar effect as the CNC but I'm going to show you using a rotary tool which is what I use most. Just for this example I'm using the scrap perspex from the Def Leppard light. Ideally I would have printed a design and stuck it down but just to show you that it is possible to do by hand I'll create a freehand design. I stuck some painters tape onto the perspex to make it easier for the pen to work. I'm using a very cheap rotary tool to do this. I have a basic wood carving bit installed too. It really is just a case of taking your time and keeping a steady hand. The perspex is a lot easier to carve than wood, so you don't have to worry about the grain direction and the tool doesn't seem to want to pull compared to how it pulls a lot in wood. I'll just use some LEDs I had lying around to show you how it works. Sticking them to painters tape helps to hold them in place and direct the light upwards. As you can see the effect is the same as using the CNC. If you use a printed design to follow, then the results of course will be much more professional, but this is just a proof of concept. I really hope this helps and I hope it inspires you to give it a go, even if you don't have a CNC machine. There is always options out there to get the job done.